All right, guys. Today we'll be looking at how to install Unreal Engine 5. It's currently in early access right now, and you guys can download it to test out the features probably. To download, just search Epic Games Launcher in your browser. Click on the first link that you get. And yeah, guys, make sure you guys do join my Discord server. Link down in the video description below. And once this is loaded, click on Get Epic Games on the top right hand corner of your screen, and it should download the installer after that you can go ahead and go to your downloads folder and click on the installer to install the epic games launcher that's pretty straightforward so i wouldn't be going over that now just open up your epic games launcher so once everything is loaded in you should see a similar type of screen i already have installed it like long ago and i do have games as well as unreal engine 4 on this so it will look a bit different so click on Unreal Engine 5 and just download the early access version. Then head back to your library and then click on launch. Now once you launch the engine it should load up. And guys I will be making uh, Unreal Engine 5 tutorials from now. And if you guys have any questions you can leave a comment down below. Or you could join my discord server. Link in the description. Over the course of time we will be creating various types of games as well as covering all the basics of Unreal Engine 5 both blueprints as well as C++ so that all of you guys can create some amazing games. So I've actually played around with the engine for some time and I do see that there's a big big performance drop from UE4. I would assume that it's an optimization issue right now as when I set the scalability to auto it sets itself to epic and I get like 25 frames so I am not really sure but your mileage will vary depending on your hardware though so thanks for watching guys if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you do leave a like it definitely helps me out and in the next video I'll be showing you guys how to improve the performance in UE5 just for you guys who want to try out all the new features but can't run it on your system so stay tuned for that guys